Thank you for joining today's online travel presentation, where we will talk about the best steam trains in Europe. My name is Lynn, and I am pleased to be your moderator for this presentation. We understand that now is not an easy time to travel, but it is the perfect time to start researching destinations and planning your next trip. So thank you for being here. Before we begin, I'd like to take care of two little bits of housekeeping. The first is we're going to hold all questions until the end. If you have questions during the presentation, please type them in the question box in the GoToWebinar toolbar, and we will cover them at the end of the presentation. And second, there will be two polling questions, and we encourage you to participate. So let's get started. As I mentioned, I am Lynn, and I'll be your moderator, and I'm pleased to introduce our presenter, Graham, one of our knowledgeable rail specialists. So now that you know a little bit about us, we'd, we'd like to get to know a little bit about you with our first polling question, which is on your screen right now. Have you taken a ride on a steam train? So go ahead and cast your vote. Um, we'll keep this open for about 30 seconds. All right, it looks like just about everybody has um, participated. So I'm going to close the poll. And Graham, it looks like um, about 15% of our attendees have taken a ride on a steam train. So they're certainly in the right place to learn more. But before we talk about Europe steam trains, I want to tell you a little bit about us. Vacations by Rail is the leading rail vacations company in the United States and the trusted authority on rail. We offer the largest collection of vacations to destinations around the globe, and the cornerstone of each trip is a rail journey aboard at least one of the world's iconic trains. We are a member of the National Tour Association, American Bus Association, and we are AARP's preferred rail provider. And Vacations by Rail is a great rail journeys company, which means we're backed by more than 45 years of experience in the specialty of global rail tours. In addition to unmatched vacations, we offer best-in-class customer care from your first caller email to your return from your trip. So why take a steam train vacation? Most of all, it recalls a bygone era of travel as you chug through colorful countryside aboard vintage rail cars, a journey that is simply wrapped in nostalgia. In addition to heritage train journeys, there are modern train trips too included in each trip and plenty of iconic sites and comprehensive sightseeing along the way. Now I'd like to introduce Graham, who is going to tell you about Europe's best steam trains. Thank you, Lynn, and hello, everyone. Yeah, as Lynn says, my name's Graham. I am one of uh, Vacations by Rail uh, Rail specialists, and I'm happy to take you through uh, today's presentation. And uh, so, yeah, let's kick off our journey across Europe uh, to discover its famous steam trains with what is undoubtedly one of the most recognisable. Uh, this is the Jacobite steam train. Um, if it looks familiar, I'm sure it is to most people, as um, you might recognise it in the bridge here from the uh, from the Harry Potter films. Um, the wonderful journey on the Jacobite steam train uh, takes us along a section of the West Highland Line, which stretches from Glasgow to Malaig and takes passengers through some of the most breathtaking mountain scenery in the UK. Uh, the journey begins in the town of Fort William, spectacularly situated with Ben Nevis as its backdrop. Uh, and as the train departs Fort William, we travel along the shores of Loch Linney before tackling the increasingly demanding Highland terrain. Uh, at Glenfinnan, we reach the most scenic and dramatic section of the line as the train crosses the 21 arches of the Glenfinnan Viaduct, uh, which is the bridge you can see in the image, a magnificent feat of railway engineering. Uh, leaving Glenfinnan, the landscape opens up and we catch our first glimpse of the sea and the small islands close to the shore. And during this section of the journey, the Jacobite steam train travels across two more viaducts, the Glenmama and the Borrowdale Viaduct, before reaching the, the small towns of Morat and Arisaig. 
On a clear sunny day, the white sandy beaches along this stretch of coastline provide a beautiful contrast with the blue waters of the sea. And from here, it is only a short distance to our final destination, the busy fish fishing village of Malague. And the Jacobite steam train is included in several of our UK rail tours, but arguably the most popular itinerary is our Edinburgh, the Highlands and Islands, uh, where you can best discover the West Highlands and Cairngorms, uh, the mountain range which stretches across Scotland. And so the Edinburgh Highlands and Islands tour is a nine day escorted tour, which means we're accompanied by a tour escort throughout uh, with local guides that join us for our sightseeing excursions. Uh, as a point of interest and new for 2021, the majority of our escorted tours in Europe have been reduced in size to a maximum of 25 passengers per tour, uh, which allows for a more socially distant and intimate travel experience. Uh, this particular tour travels round trip from Edinburgh and has numerous departures from March through October. Locks and glens, castles and islands lie in wait of, of your discovery as we travel through the beautiful country of Scotland. And so, as we mentioned, the explorations begin in Edinburgh, which you can see in the uh, bottom left photo and um, <clears throat> which you can explore on your own once you arrive on your first day before we travel over to Glasgow on day two. Uh, in Glasgow, we board the renowned West Highland Line and travel along locks, past mountainscapes and through quaint villages. Leaving the mainland, we journey by ferry, <coughs> excuse me, to the Isle of Mull and enjoy a visit to Castle Dewart, uh, which you can see in the bottom right photo and we have a taste of authentic Scottish Scotch whisky. Continuing, we enjoy highlights such as Neptune's Staircase, a cruise of Loch Linney, a ride aboard the Jacobite steam train and a visit to the legendary Loch Ness. One final train ride, this time aboard the Kyle Line, takes us to the Kyle of Loch Alsh, where we visit the 13th century Eileen Donnan Castle, uh, which you can see in the top right. Uh, as the tour wraps back to Edinburgh, enjoy more quintessential Scottish vistas and feel your heart filled with memories of this wonderful country. And so just some highlights of the, um, of the tour itself. Uh, obviously we have the, the rail excursions on the Jacobite steam train and the, uh, the Kyle line. Um, and I would say personally, the, the Kyle line is probably one of the most, uh, one of the hidden gems of the tour. It's, um, it's probably not as well known as the Jacobite for obvious reasons, but some of the scenery that you see on, on the Kyle line is, is absolutely stunning. So uh, I would definitely say that that's uh, one of my personal highlights uh, of the trip. Uh, and also the visits to, to the castles that we have as well are, are absolutely amazing. And so on to one of the next uh, most popular steam trains and also based in the UK is the Royal Windsor Steam Express. Uh, this train travels from London Waterloo to Windsor in a steam hauled carriages. On its way, it passes several famous landmarks, including the London Eye and the Houses of Parliament. Steaming along the River Thames, as well as several reservoirs and lakes, we reach Windsor's Eton Riverside Station designated a royal station by London and South Western Railway. The route has been meticulously planned to ensure we get the best views of the English countryside while indulging in some of the scrumptious onboard delicacies, a true highlight of the onboard experience. And this particular train is best showcased in our brand new tour, which is the best of London and Paris by rail. Uh, this is an eight day tour, begins in London and ends in Paris and showcases some of the most popular landmarks and special activities in each city. Uh, again, it is an escorted tour, so you will be accompanied by a tour manager from start to finish. And we have departures in both June and September. So just a uh, brief rundown of the itinerary. So in London, alongside your fellow travellers and tour manager, you enjoy guided sightseeing and a railway journey to Windsor, home to Windsor Castle, a palace that has been standing for nearly a century uh, and one that you can see in the main image there. Our journey continues with a visit to the Tower of London, uh, which you can see in the central image um, at the bottom, uh, and a cruise upon the River Thames before travelling through the Channel Tunnel from London to Paris, aboard the high-speed Eurostar train. 
In Paris, a half-day sightseeing tour introduces us to the most notable landmarks throughout the city. And we also embark on a foodie tour in the Parisian neighborhood of Le Marais, taking in the beautiful surroundings and the flavorful, flavorful cuisine while walking between shops and restaurants. In each destination, four-star hotel accommodations and authentic dining experiences complement the thoughtful itinerary, creating an experience to hold on to for a lifetime. And just some highlights again of the, uh, the trip itself. And um, you'll see some of the top highlights and inclusions of this trip, but I wanted to, to call out some of my favorites as well. Um, so without a, doubt, without a doubt, obviously the journey aboard the, the Royal Windsor Steam Express is a notable highlight of this itinerary. Um, the route takes just under an hour to complete. And while we travel, we are served a delicious English brunch, uh, including champagne. Uh, another very special, <coughs> excuse me, very special inclusion is the Tower of London opening ceremony. And you can watch as the chief yeoman warder and his military escort make their way to the outer gate of the tower to unlock it for the day's visitors. The keys are as impressive as the ceremony itself, carried upon a large iron ring. Uh, you have some free time to explore the Tower of London as well, which is uh, yeah, an absolute delight. Uh, and obviously, as we mentioned, if you're a foodie, the Tour of P Paris's uh, Marais district will be memorable. Uh, Le Marais is one of Paris's trendiest neighborhoods and your guided tour presents the best of Parisian cuisine. Uh, we set out on foot making stops at restaurants and storefronts to sample their offerings, which range from coffee and croissant to cured meats. Uh, you can taste fresh cheese as well and flaky French pastry uh, and learn the correct way to eat a baguette and savor wine, delicate chocolates and macaroons. And so on to our uh, third tour, and we continue our journey across the continent to Germany for a ride on the Brocken Railroad. Uh, the Brocken is the highest peak in the Harz mountain range located in central Germany. A branch railroad line connecting the Brocken to the Harz mountains existing narrow gauge railway was proposed in 1869, but it was not until 1899 that the 80 kilometer track was declared operational. Uh, damaged as a result of bombing and mortar fire in World War II, uh, the Brocken Railroad reopened following repair in 1949, but during the subsequent division of Germany into East and West, the Brocken became a military base, its railroad used only for the transportation of supplies. Uh, it was only after the historic reunification of Germany in 1990 that the train was returned to public use, and since 1992 passengers have once again been able to make the spectacular rail journey hauled by steam locomotive to the summit of Brocken, where they are rewarded with breathtaking panoramic views of the Harz Mountains National Parks before them. So let's explore an itinerary that explores this region and features this train. And uh, this is our Harz Mountains and Rhine Gorge tour, um, where you can explore the half timbered villages and stunning peaks of the Harz Mountains by Heritage Railway before visiting the stunning Ryden Gorge, uh, where the legendary Lorelei Rock still casts its spell. Uh, again, this is an escorted itinerary. It is a 10 day tour that begins and ends in London. Uh, so are you, we are using transportation aboard the high speed Eurostar to connect us with the continent. Uh, if you look at the map, you can see we're splitting our time between uh, Werninger Road, where our scenic rail excursions take place, and Asmannhausen in Germany's wine country. Uh, Werninger Road, which you can see in the uh, top left image, was formerly the capital of the medieval county of Werninger Road. Following the Napoleonic Wars, it became part of Saxony. Uh, we've talked about the Rock and Brocken Railroad, and that is a spectacular day trip. Um, and the other notable train on this itinerary is the uh, Selkatal Railroad. Uh, this charming train makes its way through the dense forests and past the gentle streams, granting special views of mysterious fairy tale landscapes. The second half of our trip, where our base is in Asmannhausen, is the main image. Um, highlights include a Rhine Gorge cruise, where we sail through the prettiest and most celebrated section of the Rhine Gorge. Here, ancient castles peer from the top of the green banks. Uh, we pass the imposing uh, Lorelei Rock, a legendary rocky outcrop that soars 492 feet above the waterline. 
The timeless natural beauty and cultural importance of the Rhine Gorge has granted this destination UNESCO World Heritage status, and our time here gives us a glimpse of just what makes this gorgeous and peaceful valley so special. Uh, the, um, the other images you can see um, in the slide, <coughs> um, you have uh, Rudersheim in the bottom right, uh, which we visit on the penultimate day of the tour. Uh, the Bopard chairlift, where we arrive after our Rhine cruise, uh, and Goslar next to it, uh, which is another UNESCO listed town, uh, and we visit Goslar on day two. So again, just uh, some of the highlights of the tour. So obviously, you know, the, the main um, uh, main highlights are obviously the, the Brocken Railroad and the uh, Selekal Railroad. Um, but you also have the, the Rhine Gorge Cruiser, which is absolutely spectacular. It gives you kind of a different view of, um, uh, of the country and uh, some just uh, amazing landscapes on there. Um, and then we also have a winery visit as well, which is, uh, which is always a treat as well. So we now move from Germany to Switzerland, which is the last country that we are visiting today. Uh, and the last steam train that we'll spotlight is the Brienza Rothorn. Uh, chugging along alpine meadows and through lush forests on the Rack Railway built in 1892, the Brienza Rothorn Railway has lost none of its original appeal. In roughly one hour, the small steam locomotives push the merry red panorama coaches from Lake Brienz up to the Brienza Rothorn, and on a clear day, the Rothorn offers you a magnif magnificent view of no fewer than 693 peaks. And this notable steam railway is best presented in our Swiss steam train adventure itinerary. Uh, so this itinerary is a seven day independent vacation, uh, which essentially means everything is planned for you, but you're traveling at your own pace, seeing and doing what is most important to you. Uh, this um, excursion, or so this itinerary rather, departs daily from June 21 through to October 6. So you have maximum flexibility about um, the time of year that you, were, you would like to travel uh, and begins and ends in Zurich. Uh, included on this itinerary is a seven-day first-class Swiss travel pass, which allows you unlimited access to Switzerland's trains, buses, and boats. Um, so this is your means of accessing all of the travel components throughout your trip. And from the cities of Andermatt, Lucerne, and Brienz or Meringen, take in all the beauty and culture Switzerland has to offer on this week-long expedition. Your journey begins in Andermatt, uh, which is the image in the top right, where you embark on a scenic excursion aboard the Furka steam train, which gives you fantastic views of the Furka Pass, uh, which you can see in the middle right picture, and also the Rhone Glacier in the bottom right. You move on to the city of Lucerne by rail and enjoy a visit to Switzerland's most visited museum, a private walking tour of the city, and a memorable lunch cruise on Lake Lucerne. Um, and that uh, you can see Lake Lucerne in the, uh, the bottom left image there. The Bernese Oberland is the final destination of your journey. Uh, here, ride aboard another scenic railway in Brienz in the main image uh, and visit an open air museum that offers a glimpse at life in rural Switzerland years ago. With your Swiss travel pass in hand and comfortable hotel accommodations awaiting you each night, this steam train adventure is your ticket to some of uh, the best of Switzerland. And again, just some of the highlights of the tour, um, and as well as obviously the spectacular rail journeys, um, which obviously everyone is uh, excited about. There's also the walking tour of Switzerland, which is amazing as well. Uh, walking tour of Lucerne, rather, which is um, amazing as well. Lucerne is a, an incredible city and, and very, very beautiful as well. Um, and you also have the uh, the Ballenberg Open Air Museum, uh, which, the, which is the only one in Switzerland and encompasses more than 160 acres. Um, and yeah, it gives you an insight into what life used to be like in Switzerland. And just some final information about all of our tours. So on the majority of our tours, it's always possible to upgrade your experience, uh, whether you're looking for additional hotel accommodation, either before or after your tour, 
or adding excursions on, um, you can always speak to our rail specialists who are more than happy to advise you um, about what you can add on to your trip to make it that uh, extra special experience. Um, and yeah, I'll now pass you back over to Lynn for our second polling question. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Graham, for telling us about um, these wonderful trains and destinations. So our second polling question is, uh, what steam train destinations um, most appeal to you? And so we put up some choices based on the destinations that we talked about today, the UK, Germany, and Switzerland. So I'll leave this open for about 30 seconds and let you uh, tell us what you think. Okay, great. It looks like just about everybody has responded, so I'm going to close the poll. And um, we have some interesting results. The majority of our attendees noted that the UK is the destination they're most interested in for a steam train trip. If you'd like to learn more about our steam train adventures or any of our rail journeys around the globe, you can request one, request one of our brochures by calling 877-929-7245 or visit www.vacationsbyrail.com. To make a reservation, you can contact any of our rail specialists at the toll-free number on your screen. You can also book online Regardless of how you contact us, the rail specialist who services your first call or email is the one who will be dedicated to you until you return home from your trip. So we do have some questions today. Um, so Graham, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick out a few for you. We have time for three or four. Um, the first is, how long is the average train journey? Um. Yeah, so um, it's quite difficult to answer. It might be a little vague, but uh, it really does vary. Um, I would say most of the rail excursions are at least a few hours. Uh, for some of kind of the heritage steam railroads that we've uh, we've kind of discussed in this presentation, they may be slightly less. Um, for example, the Jacobite is around about two hours. Um, some of the other steam trains that we've gone are, are maybe about an hour. But yeah, for most of the rail journeys, I would say that at least a kind of a few hours on the train. Thanks. Um, how much free time is available to explore on my own? Uh, yeah, again, this depends on the tour. Um, full day excursions usually begin after breakfast and will return at around about 4 or 5 p.m. Um, but I would say for the most part, there will always be one or two days which are fully at leisure, so you'll have the whole day to explore. Or there may be days where the excursion only takes up either the morning or the afternoon, which will always give you free time uh, to explore as well. Thanks. Um, one more, how will my luggage be handled? Uh, yeah, so for our uh, independent tours, uh, you'll actually be responsible for handling your own luggage on and off the trains. Uh, but for almost all of our escorted tours, the baggage handling will be included uh, the whole way through. Thanks so much. Uh, we do have other questions that unfortunately we don't have time to answer. But don't worry, uh, a rail specialist will be receiving these questions at the end of our presentation and we'll be sure that you are contacted personally um, to ensure that they're answered. And if you have any additional questions or would like any additional information, they can certainly assist you. So thank you very much for attending our Best Steam Trains in Europe presentation. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks to you, Graham, as well. Thank you. Have a great day.